Okay, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and do your um, new moon and Libra message for this week. Or not this week, but the upcoming new moon. Just so you know, while I pull the cards, what's the message for Aquarius for the new moon and Libra? Um, I've changed the way I'm formatting things. So on TikTok, I'm going to be doing love readings only, exclusively. On Instagram, I will be doing prosperity and um, career business readings on, um, I don't read reversals on, um, Facebook. I'm going to be doing seasonal readings, which means depending on where the sun is at, what sign the sun is at. And then here on YouTube, I'm going to be doing the large monthly and mid month readings with clarifiers, as well as the new and full moon readings like this. Okay. Okay. So <sighs> what's coming up for Aquarius Aquarius. Mm -hmm. We've got the Judgment, King of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. So I feel because it is Libra, I'm doing partnerships, right? So this could be relationship partnership. This could be a business partnership. It's some sort of partnership. It's your connection with other people. So I feel like you're trying to save something. You're trying to bring something to life. Judgment card. King of Cups, Three of Pentacles. You're, you're trying to rebuild something. You don't want it to end. If it's a relationship, it's because you still love this person. And you're like, let's save it. Let's, let's resurrect it. Could it be a marriage with the Hierophant card here? Um, so maybe you and your partner have been on the rocks a little bit. With the Ace of Swords, I see conversations happening around this. Uh, communication, clarity coming in. Now, some of the communication may not be entirely peaceful. Some of it will be, but some of it will not. With the Knight of Swords, it's um, there could be a little bit of combativeness in, in the conversation. But overall, I feel like you're willing to accept it because you just want clarity. You want understanding of where your partner stands and where you stand. You could be dealing with Taurus energy. You could be dealing with Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy is here twice. Um, so yeah, you may want to just really work on this. You may want to save it, but we do have two swords here as well. So I also think that there might be some denial. Um, like on some things there is clarity and on others there's combativeness. And then on others, there's three different, it's like there's three different things that need to be addressed, which means that there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot happening with you. So on some things, you and your partner or whoever this is do get to some sort of clarity and agreement on others. Y'all may have battles, but then on the third thing, there's an avoidance. There's like, let's just not talk about it. Let's see. Let's look at the, uh, these have already been shuffled. Clarify judgment card. Ooh. Okay. That's, that's a lot. So I'm only going to take the top one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that happened again a while ago. Look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So judgment card twice. You're definitely trying to bring something back to life. You're definitely trying to resurrect something. Like I said, it could be a love connection. Um, there's a knight of swords again with the five. Remember when I said one of y'all is really combative. I feel like the younger one, whoever the younger one, because we got the Knight of Swords here, is a lot more combative, whereas somebody else is just hurt, but they're more logical, practical. They want to come back to the Ten of Cups. So maybe one of you is trying a little harder than the other to restore this, to bring this back to life, to find balance again with the Two of Cups. You feel like whoever's trying harder feels like the other person is their is the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin? One of the two. Let's look at this ace of swords. Clarify ace of swords. Six of swords. So yeah. <clears throat> there might have been an ending already. And whoever's trying to save the connection, whether it's you or your partner, Maybe coming in with an apology. Um, or they may be waiting for you to come in with an apology. <laughs> Either way, whoever is going to apologize, I feel like it's because, you know, 
the six of swords is after the five, right? There was some really harsh words exchanged. There was some very petty energy. There was a tit for tat energy. And now it's like, let's just move forward. Let's just leave this behind us. Let's, let's just resolve this. However, there is seven swords here. So I think even when it comes to resolving issues, there's a strategic approach to it, whether it's you or your partner. I feel like whoever's taking a strategic approach, the other person, I, I don't know, I'm, this was an energy I got. This didn't come out in an actual card. The other person's tired of it. They're tired of that strategic. They see it like sneakiness. They're just like, just be straightforward. Just be honest, be direct. And that could be where the, oh, look at that Ace of Cups. One of you wants forgiveness. That could be where the combativeness comes from because one of you is like, just be honest, just be clear. Or it'll be over. Let's see. Clarify Knight of Swords. There, guys, there's the Emperor again. Wow. I feel like whoever the masculine is, they're done. They don't want to. Yeah. Remember the Two of Swords. I told you the Two of Swords is here. Here it is again. This is what they're not talking about. That moon, they've got their hiding shit. Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> Something here is over. It's just to this person. It might not be over for whoever the other partner is, but whoever this Aries, Capricorn, um, Scorpio person is, they may be done. They, they feel done. They feel like, stick a fork in me because it's over. I'm done. I'm fully cooked. And it could be a long-term connection. It could be a long-term commitment or marriage. Oh, man. Let's see. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius. We've got the Page of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So Taurus energy here could be that if this is Taurus energy, um, what they appreciate about the connection is the stability. They also, Queen of Cups, they still love this person. They're willing to put in the work. They're very committed. Yeah, this is their soulmate. So they're willing to keep going. They're willing to like, let's keep working on this. But Page of Wands, it's also scary to not be, to be away from this person. It's scary to disconnect from the person that they see as, as their soulmate. So it's creating a little bit of an issue because that means they're going to tread a lot more carefully when it comes to resolution of issues because they're more afraid of losing their partner than their partner's afraid of losing them. Let's look at the Emperor. Hanged man. Okay, so here's the thing. Whatever the masculine has been holding back, I think by the new moon you'll know. By the new moon in Libra, and I believe it's the 26th, you're going to know because both of these swords are, oh, look at this, the three of swords underneath. I told you, I told you, I told you both of these swords are upright. When the swords, when the, when the art of the sword, you know, in, in a deck is pointing the sword downward, I always think of this like something they know, but when it's pointed upward, it's, it's something they know and they're sharing. They are they're sharing and this is something that you may if this is you Aquarius you may feel like you're going to break your partner's heart but you're also aware that they will heal you just you don't want to be deceitful anymore look at this there's that earth energy again they've probably been whoever the earth energy is there's that tower they've been losing sleep over it they've been really anxious they're just they want to just get it off their chest they know it's going to be a tower moment they know it may be there will, be, there will be a lot of questions, but they're just like, let's just get it over with because it's killing them. The suspense, the not talking about it, the, the secretiveness, the deception, all it's killing them, which is good. It shows they have a, a good conscience. Okay. So I don't know if this is you or this is your partner, Aquarius. Only time will tell, but just... Just remember, whatever it is, this too shall pass. You will heal. 
if this isn't you and this is your partner about to break your heart, you will heal. You will love again. You will, even though right now it may not seem like it, but vice versa. If it's them and you're about to give them this news, they will heal. They will move on. Okay, so don't beat yourself up. Just be honest. Honesty is always the best policy. Okay? All right, Aquarius. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here and uh, make sure you follow me on the other platforms so you don't miss the love readings, prosperity readings, seasonal readings, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.